All right, so problem number nine on the segment edition uh, overlap assignment. All right, it tells us that we have a line segment. All right, and on that line segment, we're told that points A, B, and C, A, B, C, and D are all collinear. All right, and positioned in that order. Okay, so here's A, here's B, here's C, and here's D. Okay, then we're told that for problem number nine, we're told that um, AC is 17. Okay, so the measure of segment AC is going to be 17 units. All right, we're told that BD is 2x minus 6. So here's BD, which is going to be 2x minus 6. All right, we're also told that AD, which is the entire line segment, all right, is going to be X plus 16. All right, and then lastly, we're told that BC, which is this little piece here, is going to be six units, all right? And we're asked to find X. Now, one thing we can definitely do is if we take a look at the problem itself, all right, we'll notice that um, we can actually find X in a number of different ways, okay? So first off, we can figure out that if BC is 6 and AC is 17, then that would mean that AB is going to be 11 units, all right? We simply subtract 17 minus 6 and AB should equal 11 units, all right? Now, if AB is 11 units, then that means that AB plus BD is going to equal AD. All right, let's go ahead and write that down. All right, we've got AB plus BD is going to equal AD. All right, now we know the values of each of those segments. AB we just found was 11. All right, BD, BD, which we're told is 2x minus 6. And that's going to equal AD, which we're told is x plus 16. All right. So from here, we're going to go ahead and combine our like terms. We end up with 2x plus 5. All right. And that's going to equal x plus 16. All right. So now we have a simple multi-step equation. The very first thing we're going to do is subtract x from both sides of the equation. All right, 2x minus x, that's going to leave us with x. And, of course, we're going to bring down our 5. So we have x plus 5, and that's going to equal a positive 16. And from this point, we simply subtract 5 from both sides of our equation. And we find out that x equals 11. Okay, x is going to equal 11, and that's what we were asked to find. All right, so if you have any further questions with the overlap, uh, just please drop a message. Thank you.